The health belief model is a psychological framework that explains and predicts health-related behaviours by focusing on individual beliefs. It suggests that a person's decision to engage in health behaviours depends on their perception of a health threat and the potential benefits of taking action. The model includes several key factors. Perceived susceptibility, how likely a person thinks they are to experience a health issue. Perceived severity, how serious they believe the condition is. Perceived benefits, how effective they think an action will be. Perceived barriers, the obstacles that may prevent action. Cues to action, triggers that encourage behaviour. And self-efficacy, confidence in one's ability to make a change. By understanding these factors, health professionals can design interventions that encourage healthier choices. Now let's explore the origin of the health belief model. The health belief model was developed in the 1950s by social psychologists at the US Public Health Service to understand why people were not participating in disease prevention programs. The researchers wanted to identify the factors influencing whether individuals would take preventive health measures such as getting vaccinations or undergoing screenings. Over time, the model was refined and expanded to include additional components, such as self-efficacy, to explain how confidence impacts health-related decision-making. Today, the health belief model is widely used in public health, psychology and healthcare settings to promote behaviours that reduce the risk of illness and improve overall well-being. Now let's look at some examples of how this model is applied. The health belief model is used in many areas of healthcare and public health campaigns. For example, in promoting vaccinations, health officials may emphasise the severity of a disease and the effectiveness of the vaccine while addressing barriers such as cost or fear of side effects. Another example is in smoking cessation programmes, where individuals who believe they are at high risk for smoking-related diseases and see clear benefits in quitting are more likely to take action. The model is also applied in encouraging healthy lifestyle choices, such as exercise and balanced diets, by highlighting both the risks of inactivity and the benefits of long-term health. Now let's examine some strengths of the health belief model. One strength of the health belief model is that it provides a clear structure for understanding health-related behaviours. By breaking down decision-making into specific components, it helps health professionals design targeted interventions that address the beliefs influencing behaviour. Another advantage is its flexibility, as it can be applied to a wide range of health behaviours, from disease prevention to lifestyle changes. Additionally, the model emphasises personal perceptions, which allows for tailored health messages that resonate with individuals based on their unique concerns and motivations. Because of these strengths, the health belief model remains a valuable tool in public health education and behaviour change programmes. Now let's consider some weaknesses of the health belief model. Despite its usefulness, the health belief model has some limitations. One major criticism is that it focuses mainly on individual decision-making without considering social, environmental or economic factors that can influence health behaviour. For example, even if a person believes in the benefits of exercise, they may not have access to safe places to work out or the financial resources to join a gym. Another weakness is that the model assumes people make rational decisions based on their beliefs. But in reality, emotions, habits and peer influence often play a significant role in health choices. While the health belief model helps explain many behaviours, it does not fully account for all the complexities of human decision making. Now let's explore an alternative approach. An alternative to the health belief model is the theory of planned behaviour, which focuses on how attitudes, subjective norms and perceived behavioural control influence decision making. Unlike the health belief model, which centres on personal beliefs about health risks, the theory of planned behaviour considers the role of social pressure and a person's perceived ability to perform a behaviour. For example, while the health belief model might explain why someone understands the benefits of exercise, the theory of planned behaviour would examine whether they feel socially supported in exercising and believe they have control over their ability to do so. Both models offer valuable insights and in many cases 
they are used together to create more comprehensive health interventions.